Hey everyone, so the other day the Axe team reached out to me and said, we're doing this thing for Origin Week, would you like to reveal all the runes and charms for the bug class? And of course, I said yes. And these runes and charms, that we, as we've been seeing, are so unique to every class, and I truly feel that these will help balance out the different classes. Like right now in our current game, it's really hard to balance classes, but these runes and charms will give specific roles to different classes, and I really love that. All right, so the first charm we have is this one right here. It's a bug charm, and it says, it uses two potential points, and two potential points, um, there's a range of points an Axie can have. The more pure an Axie has, like the more pure an Axie is in its parts, it can have more points overall. Uh, the maximum amount of points is 15, so as you know right here, it only has two, so it's a low amount of potential points. I'll go into another video more deep into that. That like, seems to be a common thing. And right here, let's talk about it. It says, Bug Talisman of Endurance 4. Enhanced Shield Cards, Shield Stat plus 6. So as you can see, this is going to be a common theme with a lot of these bug cards, is that the shield um, increases for all of them. Like, they're very shieldy, <laughs> shieldy, and they have a lot of shield mechanics, and... It really makes me think they're going to be one of the tankiest classes in the game as far as having like armor. So we're going to have to see it go. This is the first one we've seen. Let's move on to the next one. So very simple things. Attach this to a bug part, bug part class. And honestly, uh, it has to be a bug part at least. You can't be any, you can't attach this to an aqua since it's a class specific rune. Um, it, it has limitations. While there's neutral ones that can work with any kind of class part this one's very specific to bug class parts the next one we have one here is bug talisman of power four two two potential points and this is enhanced non-multi-hit attack cards attack plus is so a very simple mechanic too it just increases your damage and there's a lot of cards definitely that can benefit from this and like i said very staple kind of kind of stat gain right here and you can attach this to any bug card bug card that, that you see. You can't attach this to aqua or plants. That's the limitation of these charms. Next one we got bug talisman of endurance five. This one already starts costing three potential points. So it's a little bit more than before. And this one actually gets shield stat plus 10. So you can add a lot of these same talismans uh, to the same axis. So you can potentially get 30 armor just by playing cards. That's insane Like that you can do all those things with these with these charms right here uh, so this one just increased its armor more but it costs more as well so you have to keep in mind the more potential points you have the more variety you can have in your runes for sure uh, next one we got similar the other one's defensive this one's offensive another bug talisman of power five and here it says it's three potential points so more as well than the last time an attack plus six enhanced non-multi-hit attack so you can't use anything like tri spikes or twin tail that have multiple attacks it has to be one something that has a single attack and it has to be a bug card so attack plus 10 pretty pretty solid stat i think that's actually pretty good actually for that one it, this is a very interesting one right here it says secret cocoon innate uh, enhance any card so it can work on any bug card and it says add innate so for f it uses four potential points so it's much higher up there uh, but it, innate is a mechanic that allows whatever whatever has innate will always be drawn into your starting hand. And I think that's such a strong mechanic. This will always guarantee that you start with the bug cards you want, like for a game. So let's say you want like your your front axie or tank is a is a bug and you want to bring out defensive parts because obviously they're taking most of the beating. This is a really good way to do it. And honestly, it's awesome awesome that they have an ability innate is very rare in this game there's only like four of them uh, four other innate cards in the game so bugs have the ability to just make all their cards innate and that's really a cool mechanic to have definitely will make your early game very consistent and in these kind of games consistency is key well, let's let's gonna move on to the next one here we got trickster i thought this was awesome four potential points tricksters card and it says enhance any card. So another enhance any card, draw one card. This is really awesome. 
being able to like the ability to draw in this game is very powerful adding this to a lot of cards will make all those cards much stronger and just imagine you add this to zero cost cards where they're able to do their effect and everything plus get a benefit of a draw that's going to make this card so strong on those ones and i honestly think adding there's different potential there's so much variety imagine putting a defensive card and it also gaining the ability to draw that's like such a bonus and in the game like card games draw power is so important to getting combos and getting to your 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 strategy going early so this is going to be awesome it can only be attached to bug cards like I'm saying only bug cards so only bug cards can be attached with this one but it's awesome. I honestly think this is one of my favorite cards. The art, of course, the card is amazing. Here we got Bug Energy Drink M. Four, four potential points. Enhance any card as well. It says add banish. Add banish and then uh, card's base stat is plus 20%. Banish is a mechanic that says when you use it, when you use that card, that card gets banished or removed from game and you no longer can use that card it won't ever be drawn again it's a one-time use basically cards base stats plus 20 percent so basically it may, can make some of these really strong bug damage cards even stronger it could lead to a lot of like really like maybe one turn kills in some cases because it just does so much damage 20 percent increase to what you already get and one of the cool things that i noticed is just because it has a banish uh modifier here or keyword it does not mean it's a bad thing. As we've seen in this game with some of the reptile cards that are here, like Tricky and other ones we have, and Topaz, they actually work best when there's more cards in the banished pile. And Tricky itself allows you to heal and to bring one of those banished cards back. So there's still ways to play with it, even if it gets banished. And bringing back a card that has bonus stats and everything could be really good. And I think this is a... A sleeper card for sure here we go we got lazy snail this says five potential points this is a lot stronger this is this this requires a lot more and lazy smell snail says look at the art it says enhance an attack card attack applies weak for two turns so this definitely works with like if you notice there's only a few bug cards that actually have weak innately in them so weak means that you'll lower that axes uh, attacks by 20%. That's really strong. Like, like imagine you have a hundred damage like attack and then you suddenly lose like all that damage. It all becomes 80% because you lost 20% on all your cards. The reduction in damage could be insane. So now that we're done with the charms, let's get into the runes. And runes can only be used by bug axes. So the axie has to be a bug. For you to use these runes you cannot use them with the plan axi you cannot use them with anything these runes are innate to the class and also you can only have one rune per axi so keep that in mind as we're going forward the first rune we're, we're given is bolt builder here it says when your turn ends gain gain shield equal to three times the number of discard cards in your pile in your discard pile so basically, uh, this allows you to spend a lot of cards, like use attack cards, and if your Axie has this innately in it, this rune inserted into it, then you suddenly get free armor, basically free armor for doing everything you want. It just depends on how much you have in your discard pile. Someone said if you had four, like let's say you played three cards, you already have nine armor here without doing anything. Let's say if you use four, you get 12 armor. So we're gonna have to see how how it works it could be right now i've seen it a little little bit weak at, at the moment or maybe later on it's gonna actually be a lot better here we got another one this one was very situational when i saw it its name is shield leecher look at that art it's really cool and it says when your turn starts deal 50 percent shield from an enemy with the highest shield so in certain situations if you're dealing with axes that have a lot of shield or like shield up like crazy Shield Leecher could actually be really good. Like I said, it depends too much on what your opponent does, but in those situations, like I said, it's very situational, so it's not very consistently good. And if you're using your one rune that you can use on that actually for this one, it, it could not, sometimes it will work out or not. And as I explained before, consistency is so key in these card games. And depending on your opponent to do something, 
is never going to work out. And I do feel like opponents will find a way to play around it. But the effect itself, stealing 50% of their shield is so nuts just to look at it. Our next rune right here is Sturdy Fighter. Bug card. And this one was so crazy when I, when I announced it. It says, non-multi-hit attacks deal bonus damage equal to current shield. So non-multi-hit attacks. So it can't be anything with multiple multi-hits. Attack cards deal bonus damage equal to current shield. So whatever your shield is, this will this will increase all other attacks. So for example, like you have something like Fishneck, you 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 play Fishneck, it gives you shield, and right after you play two attack cards, <laughs> attack cards will gain Fishneck's like uh, defense as part of their attack. So this has the potential to just give. Bugs a lot of damage out of nowhere. So, and it allows you to also play defensively with them too, as well as adding more damage. And another thing that I've noticed, people pointed out that, well, cards like Beach or Scarab give you naturally a little bit of armor when you use them. So you can do damage, you can get a little effect from Scarab, and then you can gain gain uh, more uh, more armor and more damage as well. So... I could see this being really strong, and some people are already even trying to play it with something like a zero cost card like Square Bite, where it's a zero cost 25 damage card, but with this rune, if you gain any any shield on that Axie, all the other attacks will be like, 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 like that bite will, from being 25 damage, can go up to like 85 damage or more, like crazy. The, the, the combos can be endless on this one. And, and I honestly think I'm most hyped to play this this specific rune right here. Sturdy Fighter, look out for it. And here we have the final rune for you guys tonight. And what is it? It's this one, Collect and Protect. And what does it say? This one's really cool, honestly. In odd rounds, draw one additional card when your turn starts. In even rounds, gain 30 shield when your turn starts. So as you notice, it specifically says rounds so it's using rounds uh, instead of the term turns and it's actually correct so in a round consists of you doing your turn and then your opponent doing their turn that's a round right there and as you guys all know the first round of a game is an odd number it's round one and it will be be like round one and so if it's an odd number round one you draw one card so if your axi has this rune on it it automatically gains gains a draw right away and imagine if you have three bug axes they all will draw one one card at, at that one it does depend like your turn does depend on whether like a lot of it does depend on different things but right here that's the first thing and if like say say the first round you will always draw the next round so once your opponent you do your turn your opponent does his turn then you do your turn like you start your next turn now it's an even round like as you see that's it's not it's round two now and in that case it says in even rounds gain 30 shield when your turn starts so in those rounds you'll gain shield instead of doing the draw so there's a lot of like you're getting a lot of value from just one rune and i honestly think that's really cool um, and with that i just wanted to thank the axi infinity team for giving me this opportunity to reveal the uh, runes and charms of the bug class honestly i'm just a small content creator here on youtube and i do twitch streaming as well i do have a lot of experience in the game but it's really awesome the way that they decided to allow us the community to be able to leak or share these things with you guys and i'm most excited because tomorrow as part of origin week we're going to be able to actually see the gameplay to the game so please make sure to check that out it's going to be awesome i think but anyways, that ends for this video. Take care, and I'll see you guys all next time.